Hey guys, this is Richard from Wild Step Right. This is my next video for you guys. This is the brand new AIO from Thermalright. It's a 360 rad. It's got ARGB. It's got an RGB ring that goes around the housing of the cooler itself. The bracket for AM4 is all nice and chromed. It's got stat pressurized fans. And so far, this is the best AIO I've had. So, continue to watch. Right guys, so as I said, this is the best AIO I've had so far. The thermal performance of this was amazing in my test bench system. As you can see, I've got a deep cool uh, air, uh, air cooler at the moment because this is I'm, this is my next one. I'm, I'm testing for them. They've sent it over and I'm going to be testing that. But what I will say about this AIO is the aesthetics are brilliant. They're fantastic. The pump is outside of the initially, like the normal Acetec branded pump block combos. Um, it is out of that, so I think they can actually make it look a bit more better because it's not actually in the Acetec patent. So I like the design, the whole white in the design. Then there's like an embossed little uh, thermal right logo on both sides. Uh, the static. Uh, optimized pressure fans i've actually got the rgb versions here in white and i've also got three packs of the black versions and from it, which they're in here they're actually there is one right by there this is one of the static pressure optimized fans but this one is rgb and they're in my test bench because i requested from thermorite can i have I did ask for three fans, but they sent me three boxes of three fans. I asked them for my test bench, so they would be shown in videos while I'm testing other products. So we will get into the benchmarks now, and then we will get into the overall aesthetics, the price, and so forth. So, let me get it up, my benchmarks. As, as you know, I benchmark with all the free uh, all the free benchmarks you can download CPUZ, you can download Cinebench, there's uh, Ada64. You do that isn't free, but you can get a, a trial version. Uh, there is Fermark, there's uh, Geekbench, there's Superposition Benchmark, there's Blender, there's so many different types of uh, benchmarks out there that are free. Now, I did include 3D Mark because I got a license for it, I paid for it myself. And before we do that, I've got to mention the system specs. This It's a Ryzen 3600. It's got 32 gigs of 3600 megahertz DDR4 Viper RAM. It's a MSI Tomahawk B450 motherboard. It's got a GTX 1050 Ti, so there is no bottleneck. Uh, it's got a 500 gig uh, Samsung 980 basic NVMe heatsink. It's It's got a... 650 be quiet power supply it's housed in the dark base 700 which is, is my test bench system i did have the 500 dx but i requested this one because it's bigger and also it's got room for a 360 at the top a 360 on the front so initially i needed something bigger so that's the system specs out of the way now let's get into the benchmarks now the cinebench runs now the idle temperatures are weird. They were up, they were down, they were they were just everywhere. So Cinebench R20, the idle was at 26 Celsius and the max was 60. Cinebench R23, the idles was at 36 Celsius and a max 60 Celsius. It's because I just run it straight after, so it didn't have time for it to cool down. Uh 3D Mark CPU test. This is the lowest I've seen with an AIO. Idle was a 28, a max was a 57 Celsius. That is insane on a AIO. The other AIOs I tested, like the one previous to this, the Frozen Magic 360, the black one, that one's like 67 Celsius. I did not like that AIO. This one performs fantastically. So, we've got Blender BMW, idles with 30, max with 61. These were all stress tests. They were, they were set for uh, their minimum run. So, BMW uh, Blender, well, it finished the render in 4 minutes and 9 seconds. 
and the match was a 61 Celsius. The Blender Classroom benchmark was an idle of 35 and match was 62 and it finished within 12 minutes. Now that is all the tests I did for this AIO, so that's all the testing done. Yes, I do. I, I, I note it down in my tablet because it says paper. So initially, what this is, is a 360 with a pump situated outside of the block, which, as you know, with Acer Tech, they've got a patent on this, which I don't think it actually uh, matters in the UK because their patent is only for America, if I remember correctly. So they initially, if they wanted this to sell in the UK, they could have initially done it any way possible. So it is static pressurized fans. These are very premium. They've got a lot of blades as well as they push a lot of air. Now at max uh, RPM, they are rather loud, but at 50%, they're silent, dead silent. And I'm happy because the last AIO I had off Thermalright it was, oh, I had so much headwork with that AIO. It was loud. It was, oh, it just made an annoying clicking sound. I tried every configuration that I'm aware of to stop the fans clicking. It clicked from the fan being situated where it blows through the rad. And I even put it, put the fans on the opposite direction, blowing it away from the radio or blowing it through. It just would not stop clicking, so it annoyed the hell out of me. That video went kind of semi-viral because I was not a fan of that, but this one I am a fan of. And the price on AliExpress, because they don't sell this in the United Kingdom. This is more of a Chinese-based uh, market. But graciously, Thermalright, they've been fantastic with me. Everything so far I've requested, they have sent me. And this is on the... 95 to 100 pound mark which i think is a very good price point because you can get an arctic cooler 360 for around the 100 pound mark you can get the be quiet pool loop uh, 360 uh, that's around the same price you can get the fx version which is around the 80 to 90 pound mark it's exactly around the same price and this performs fantastically the uh, base plate on the bottom is copper uh, i love the mountain on this because comes with this little nifty bracket that it just goes like that and look at that that looks gorgeous just chromed chromed out so far this is the best aio i've received off thermoride the rgb i'll make sure to put pictures up of the rgb because the rgb on the ring by here and the logo is very nice it, it's exactly like the other one but this one looks much better because it's all white uh the turbine isn't too small isn't too thin isn't too thick it is braided and the pump is with a three pin which i was a bit uh, shocked with because generally when it comes to a pump you don't want it running 100% all the time sometimes that's where a four pin PWM would come in handy because you can set it to a pump speed you like now I will say the pump in this does not make a sound it does run between 5800 and 6000 rpm and the connections for it they're all fans of uh, four pin PWM it is a RGB which does come with a uh, connector but therefore like the like a controller or your motherboard and then it comes with this one which you can daisy chain it so initially it's a very good AIO I'm very uh, fond of this one it will be remaining with me because I love the look of it it's just white I mean anything white looks gorgeous in my personal opinion it is LGA 1700 compatible uh, it is AM4 it's all of them so with the new Ryzen CPUs that's just come out the AMD has assured that AM4 support socket, the, the, the actual the mounting for it for recent uh, AIOs, coolers and stuff, would be the same diameter, but I just watched um, DeBauer's video, according to him, he said that the new CPU from Ryzen, the new 7000, the IHS is a little bit thick, so he thinks that some AIOs as well as air coolers will have a problem mounting. Me, I haven't had AMD processors sent to me. I'm not that big yet. I, I wish I have tried contacting them. I would have loved to have tested it, but just one of them things. Maybe when I'm bigger, maybe I'll get to it. But for now, if you want to buy this, um, I will leave the link down below. Uh, it's around the 95 to 100 pound mark. I believe it's a good price for the amount of competition that's out there. Just think, Corsair. 
But then again, Corsair doesn't really do a hundred pound AIO unless it doesn't have RGB fans because to them, their RGB fans are amazing. I haven't had a chance, but from all the videos and people I've spoken to, the, and I've also had a AIO from them before and the IQ was annoying. It just kept, well, just, it just bugged the hell out of me. So yeah, this can be controlled with the software or you can just download Signal RGB, which would connects the majority of every motherboard manufacturer. AMD, uh, MSI, ASRock, um, there's, what you call it, there's uh, ASRock, there's ASUS, there's NGXT, there's a lot of different brands, they, it does, does fit all of them, so yeah. This is Richard from Wildstack, I hope you enjoyed, this is probably the best in-depth video I've done of, of a cooler, uh, of an AIO. Because I'm very enthusiastic about this one because it looks fantastic and it performs just as good. So, this is Richard Welsh Tech. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe down below because I've got more products coming like this one from Deep Cool. I've also got Raging Tech and I've got more stuff coming from Be Quiet. So, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.